We are finally back with some more Monopoly Hut. Uh, we got a lot of catching up to do. Let's just cut to the chase here. All right, so before we head to the board, we're right into Hockey Ultimate Team. We got a lot of things to catch up on. First things first is our Rivals Rewards. Uh, so we're going to take the untradeable as we usually do. More players to make X-Factor collectibles and, and all that stuff or power-up collectibles. Speaking of power-up collectibles, we do owe some upgrades here. Uh, Panarin, we owe him an upgrade. He's now up to a 90. We have three power-up collectibles, so our Temi Panarin is going to be up to a 90 overall, man. This card looks absolutely insane at a 90 overall. Does he have any other synergies that could help us out? I don't think right now, but we're close to well-rounded with him. Uh, but yeah, this card at a 90 overall looks amazing. And then Kyle Connor is due for three upgrades. He got upgraded to an 87, which costs two collectibles. So this first line got uh, absolutely some huge upgrades here. Uh, if he has well-rounded, that'd be great. He doesn't. We'll put Fly the Zone on because I think that's going to be a good one to get activated for him. But this first line is looking amazing. 90 overall, Artemi Panarin, our first 90 overall of the series with McKinnon and Connor. And uh, also, Ricard Raquel, we have one over on Applesauce. We're going to take him out because our... Um, evil card fantasy hockey, hockey evil card Raymond is up to an 83 now and he's gonna keep going up as, as long as he scores goals so we have him up to an 83 we're gonna throw him onto that fourth line was a binajat and brady kachuk and also we have some free packs we get a free 88 overall austin matthews which is huge so we get to throw on an austin matthews to our team which is nice so uh he's got spark and thief what other synergies does he have buzzing and that's it so we're gonna throw him onto the team it's a free 88 overall don't mind if i do and then we get a free uh exclusive jersey packs from the jerseys they just dropped not too long ago so we're gonna open that up we are gonna make our canada ones um our active ones so let's we'll, we'll rock i want to rock uh this i think this would be a nice one to rock right here dark jersey we do have an away one and we'll rock this one as well with the world juniors coming up and all that good stuff so we're now wearing canada jerseys so mika zabinija is gonna get the boot off of the team as we're putting bergeon on the fourth line now because at 88 overall austin matthews is now playing second line minutes with mitch marner and nikita kutrov which is looking amazing uh let's save our changes here um he has unstoppable force which isn't too bad spark we're two out of five buzzing three out of five and thief one out of five so um yeah matthews is looking good there uh we're gonna keep mckinnon on the top line because we're trying to upgrade him uh before we hit to the boards we have or to the board we have uh packs to open so let's go do that quickly so what, what packs do we have prime packs and jumbo premium players packs so let's open this up it's been a while since we opened up packs on this account maybe we're gonna get some good luck because it's been a while who knows man uh, but n nothing uh, I'm really expecting. An 83 Allmark is actually pretty good uh, come set, so that's pretty good. LeBanc, uh, Brian Russ, two more cards left here, and nothing else uh, showing there. That's all right. That's all right. I'm happy that we're finally getting back into content. It was a nice week off, by the way, kind of. I was uh, stressing out for some exams, but uh, we're, we're back grinding content, grinding the game, which is great. I'm very excited for that. So we pull a, a Ryan Graves, uh, uh, Janssen in the, the start of the pack there, and that's about it. Matt Molson still plays hockey. And then Jumbo Premium Player Packs, 20 items, all gold players with at least 580 plus overall. So these could be some decent packs. You never know. You, you really never know. So uh, Rooster Lion in here. Okay. Uh, Caleb Jones. Uh, Matthias Ekholm. Uh, Potvin there, uh, okay, where's our 80 pluses, eh? Hampus Lindholm at an 81, Jeff Carter at an 81, Logan Shaw, come on, let me see a purple, man, it's been a, it's been a minute since we pulled a purple, Shane Goss is spare, uh, Bieto was over there, Parsons, Andre Kasha who's having himself one hell of a season, yes, he pulled the RV, and that's it, that, that's rough, and last general premium players pack here, we're going to quickly just go through it here, okay? Come on, give me something good here. We got four or five 80 pluses. First one's Gustav Nyquist. Zach Hyman. Okay, okay. Ryan DeZingle's another 80 plus. The Kaiser. Oh my goodness. JT Miller at an 82. I think that's the highest card we've pulled out of these two packs, if I'm not mistaken. Roman Yossi at an 83. He might actually go onto the team. That's not a bad pull. Um, OEL, 82 overall. Anthony Sorelli. 
Curtis Gabriel, who just got traded, and that's about it. But hey, uh, Roman Yossi might get thrown onto the team. So before we head to the board, let's see if he can actually make the team. Oh, well, I said I like this Bone Byram, Eric Johnson pairing. Maybe we get a rid of Jake Muzzin and throw in Yossi here. Muzzin served us well. He's been around since the start of the series. So we're going to throw in Roman Yossi for him. I don't want to part ways with the Roman Yo or with the uh, Bone Byram, Eric Johnson pairing. So Roman Yossi's now onto the team playing with Christopher Latang. The defense is looking a-okay, guys. All right, so uh, I asked you guys in the comments before. I'm looking at... Um at the comments right now from last video what i should be doing with Hemin to get him upgrades goals is obviously going to be hard so i think what i'm going to do for defenseman x factors is a goal is obviously going to be an upgrade um every two assists game headman should get an upgrade i kind of like that and every shuttle we get headman should get an upgrade so we have three chances to get uh upgrades with an x factor defenseman goal two assist game and a shutout if that's too much maybe i'll get rid of the assist one but i do like the shoot the shutout one and the goals one obviously is what we do with the forwards so without further ado um let's head to the board I, I might have to reload on points but let's head to the board all right so last time we recorded we ended off on special packs we got to open up an ultimate choice pack last time around which was great so here we go we are rolling for the first time this episode and we get a two. So two is open up one premium pack. Uh, all right. There's spots on the board that still suck. Like that one premium pack with all these special packs that are out right now. But we got to open up one premium pack and just hope for the best. At this point, it's going to be pretty hard to upgrade our team because it's looking so dang good nowadays. We got a thousand coins, which is actually very nice. Uh, years off a lack at an 80 overall. Uh, Tolvinen. Anything else? negative but we'll take the thousand coins and we'll run with it and uh head into our first game this episode first game of the episode akison matthews point he doesn't have the greatest team but that doesn't mean he's the worst player ever i'll be honest with you guys i'm very excited to try panarin out at a 90 overall connor at an 87 and to try out that 83 overall lucas raymond so let's see what we could do here boys name mac nice little lt over to panarin and panarin's first shot as a 90 overall and he absolutely nips it. He's due for another upgrade when he gets one. Name Mac with the assist. Great start to the game, boys. Things you love to see, man. What an LT from McKinnon. What a pass from McKinnon. Oh my god, he just roofs it over Flurry Shoulder. I see you, Connor. It wasn't the greatest aim, greatest aim to pass there. Over to Panarin here. Over to McKinnon. And Name Mac gets another upgrade. We're gonna get to get him up to an 85 now. I think he's at an 83. I think it's two power-up collectibles to get him to an 85. Huge upgrade. We already have two upgrades with our first two shots. McKinnon's going to look sweet. This first line is going to look so sweet. Ah, uh, nice try. Hedman. Victor Hedman, take a shot. Maybe try to get him an upgrade here with a goal. That'd be nice. To Nikita. To Matthews. Toe drag and shoot. Nice try right into the glove of Flurry. Over to Marner. And he quit. I, He quit. So we're going to count that as a shutout. We get three upgrades this game. Technically two because Panarin's not due for an upgrade because he doesn't have one. But McKinnon gets an upgrade and Hedman gets an upgrade for the shutout. First game of the episode went by like this. I'm not sure why he quit. It was only 2 nothing. Plenty of game left. It is what it is. So looking here just to reconfirm. McKinnon with an upgrade and Panarin is due for an upgrade when he gets up to a 91. And because of the shutout that we got here, um, Vasilevsky didn't even make one save, but it is a shutout. Hedman gets an upgrade, so we're not complaining here. We do complete an objective here, so we will collect the coins. 200 coins to the account. Ain't too bad. And we're going to have to go make power-up collectibles here. So McKinnon, uh, oops, McKinnon gets two uh, collectibles there. And then Victor Hedman uh, gets two as well. So we got to go make four collectibles real quick. I hope we can afford to make this by the way. I'm not too sure if we can. All right guys. So we can only make three collectibles here and then we're out of gold players, which is very unfortunate. Actually, hold on. I got an idea. We got a bunch of silver cards. So I'm going to do a bunch of silver card upgrades and we can get that one last collectible. But then after that, we are drained out of gold players. All right. So here we go. We made the four collectibles we needed. McKinnon's up to an 85 now, which is actually absolutely beautiful. If he gets another upgrade, how many collectibles is that going to be? It's going to be two. So it's going to be tough to start upgrading guys from here on in uh, because our collection is pretty dry with gold players now. Victor Hedman's now up to an 86, which is beautiful. So that's two collectibles right there. And let's say we had to upgrade Hedman. If he gets another upgrade, it's another two collectibles as well for him. So uh, it's going to be interesting. But our first pairing, 86, 86, our first line, 90, 85, 87, it's looking pretty good. Back at the board here, we got a chance for two special packs, buy any player, uh, some premium packs, miss a turn, hold 
hopefully not discard best players. Here we go, rolling for the second and final time this episode. And we get a three. So three is two special packs. So um, I gotta go reload on points. Before we reload on points, we're gonna have to figure out what packs we have. So we got four, uh, five, six, seven special packs out right now. So I just, uh, at the time of recording this, content just dropped at five o'clock and Kyle Connor got an upgrade. He's due for two more. So um, what, is, what is it gonna cost me to upgrade Kyle Connor right now? Two more collectibles. So hopefully these special packs will help us out for that. But Kyle Connor is gonna get up to an 88 now, guys. All right, so we get two special packs to open. So we gotta generate a number twice to see what packs we get to open. So first number is a five and second number is a five, so five and five. So five and five are two jumbo elite packs, which I don't mind. Uh, 20 items with at least 1180 plus overall players, so we should be able to upgrade Connor after this, which is great. So here we go, first pack, actually before we look at it, look at it in our odds, 16% chance at an 86 plus player, not bad. All right, let's see what we can get here. Hopefully some good luck. This is pack number five. I just wanted to make sure it is. Uh, Vander Kane, okay. Uh, Ryan Dezingle, uh, Minnesota North Stars jersey. Nick Suzuki, uh, Josh Morrissey, Wayne Simmons. Come on, give me something good. A purple, 87 overall James Neal. That is a sick card. That is a sick card. He's got Applesauce, which we need. Wingman as well. And Magician, 87 overall with applesauce activated 87 speed 87 endurance 90 balance uh his shot looks amazing 92 wrist shot power 92 wrist shot accuracy 92 slap shot power 88 accuracy 93 passing 89 hand eye 88 puck control that's a w of a card man purple pull in our first of two special packs james neal welcome to the team william carlson uh okay jersey numbers here adam boquist uh, Panthers jersey, okay, anything else? Troy Terry, Samuel Gerard, Kylie Yarncroc, anyone else? No, but hey, you know what, man? We're not going to complain with an 87 overall James Neal. He's going to look pretty sick on this team. And last pack here. And man, what a heck of an episode so far. We still got one game to play too, but our team's looking way better with James Neal there. So we got Kuznetsov, uh, Adam Henrique, Forsling. I have a feeling we're not going to get anything in this one, and I lied. Oh my god. Ninety overall, Mark Andre Fleury. We found our new goaltender. Vasilevsky has been great for us, but oh my God, Mark Andre Fleury is a ninety overall man. He's got distributor and workhorse and a bombarded. This car looks amazing. Ninety glove high, eighty nine stick high, uh, ninety two glove low, eighty eight poke check. Oh my goodness, what a card, 89 speed, 91 vision, 89 agility, 92 positioning, 90 five hole, two purples in two of these packs, that's amazing, I thought I wasn't going to pull anything in this one, and we do, Marc-Andre Fleury, our new goaltender, just got his 500th career win, I believe it was, unreal, we will take a Fleury, let's keep it going here, Jonathan Bernier, Larson, Mike Hoffman, two purples in one pack maybe, there's no way, but hey, man, two huge upgrades to the team, which is great, Plus, we're going to be able, I believe, we're going to be able to upgrade Kyle Connor up to an 88 now, which is insane. But man, what what, what a couple of packs, man. Fleury and James Neal, um, a couple of Pittsburgh Penguins legends. So quickly looking here, uh, James uh, Neal is probably going to come in here. So give me a second here. So Brady Kachuk is coming out of the lineup right now. And I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with it because the team is looking so much better now. So we do have Brad Marchand on the fourth line with Bergeron and Lucas Raymond. Third line is now Kucherov, Geeky, and Ovechkin. And then our second line, uh, wow, James Neal, Austin Matthews, and Mitchell Marner. What an upgrade of a line there. And I, I actually really do like the look of that line. And then looking here, Vasilevsky served us great. I actually want to look at his stats before we take him off of the team. Uh, I, I think he, he was amazing for us. Um, 12 games played, he was 7-5, and five, an eight, 81 save percentage, uh, and a 2.39 goals against. Okay, we always have him if Flurry doesn't work out, but oh my god, 90 Marc-Andre Flurry is huge. And worst case, if Flurry doesn't work out for us, guys, I think we could just sell him. He might go for a little something. I don't know how much goaltenders go for nowadays, but... Uh, yeah, man, this car looks amazing. We now have 90 overall Marc-Andre Fleury. And quickly looking, let's see if we can upgrade Kyle Connor. All right, so as of now, we're not able to upgrade um, Kyle Connor. We were able to make one power-up collectible, but we cannot make two right now. So we're going to have to wait on Kyle Connor, which is fine by me. We did complete some objectives here. Uh, complete one set, that's 200 coins. And then complete sets, we get a prime pack. So if we can pull like a bunch of gold players out of this prime pack, sure. But I don't think we'll be able to 
sucks but kyle connor is at an 87 still so still a good overall but he is due for an upgrade which is good we just need one more collectible for it if we pull one here that'd be great but i don't think so we pull three gold players which will help us out but uh as of now um it is what it is so it sucks that we can't upgrade kyle connor right now but we're very close to we should be able to upgrade him to an 88 next episode but let's just hop into our first or second and final game of the episode here first game for james neal mark andre fleury and who am i forgetting first game with 86 headman as well and I feel like I'm forgetting someone else. Oh, uh, Raymond, we're going to get to try out for the first time too, actually, because a guy quit out last game and we couldn't even try him out. All right. Uh, 89 Crosby, 92 Caulfield, 88 Kane. Not a bad team. Uh, let's see what we can do here, boys. All right. Let's see how this goes. We're trying out 85 McKinnon for the first time too, actually. So, yeah, I knew I forgot someone else. Love that from him. To the point jones over to victor hedman at an 86 hits it off the crossbar i have a feeling i'm gonna like victor there you go namak keep grinding namak this is a goal oh there's no way he pokes it from behind without tripping me i'm sorry wow that was great that was a nice move i i wow i was like inches away from poking that that was a good that was a good spinorama i'm not even gonna fault him very good goal i went silent there i didn't think that was gonna happen good goal one nothing hockey game it is what it is beautiful pass kucherov over to geeky here we go geeky take it to the net buddy oh what a save man good try there you go yossi nice move Ovi, oh my god, what a try, good save. I don't even know who that is in net, to be honest. End of one, we're losing one nothing somehow. I, we are actually like dominating this game and we're down by one. That that absolutely sucks. I do want to see who has a net quickly because I, 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 I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Ilya Sorokin, is that who he's playing right now? Yeah, okay, we should be able to score here, guys. Oh, McKinnon, take it to the net. There it is, buddy. Oh, Nate Mack. And he's due for another upgrade. We're not going to be able to afford it, I don't think. But Nathan McKinnon is now going to get up to an 86, I believe. And it's an assist for Hedman. So if he gets one more assist, Victor Hedman gets another upgrade as well. Keep going, Eric Johnson. Take it to the net. Nice try, buddy. Over to Connor Geeky. Okay, this Soroka is actually playing Unreal right now. There you go, Connor Geeky to the net. Oh, he tried wrapping it like that. That would have been sweet. Nice, Raymond. Take it to the net. Lucas Raymond. Dude, how how is Raymond not scored here? That was twice that he had that opportunity. And Sorokin's just standing on his head right now. There we go. Lucas Raymond off to the races again. We're going to wait for Cooch. Bang. There it is. Oh, that was beautiful. What a pass from Lucas Raymond. He had himself one great shift. Gets it over to Nikita Kucherov. And it's a 2-1 game. Let's go, boys. Oh, that's beautiful. Name Mac, here we go. Name Mac, and that's another upgrade for Name Mac. Oh my god, I think we got McKinnon up to an 87 right now. McKinnon is due for two upgrades. What a play from him. Latang gets the assist there. It's a 3 1 hockey game. Let's go. Take off, buddy. Datsuk flip. Oh my god, what is. No, we gotta go back and watch that. I think he gloved that midair. Looking at the stats here, yeah, yeah, we're dominating. Let's go back to the save here, okay? What, what just happened? All right, we're in with Mitch Marner. All right, we're taking the little Datsuk flip. We take it. And it, it just, what happened? It doesn't look like he gloved it. No, he did glove it. That's an insane save, dude. Fair enough. Oh, my controller is like dead. I'm either lagging or my controller's dead. No, okay, we're good. I guess I was just lagging for a little bit. Jones over to Victor Hedman. Nice shot on goal. Nice try. Kyle Connor to the net. Panarin and Panarin is due for another upgrade. They're calling it off. Goaltender interference. I have a feeling I'm going to lag out of this game. He either quit or I lagged out. I lagged out. There's no way I lagged out. Dude. Okay, whatever. That That's a win in my books. It's a win. We dominated 3-1 and um yeah okay who scored let me let me check this out real quick this isn't my team mckinnon's due for two upgrades and is that it yeah okay mckinnon's due for two upgrades i hate i don't know what happened because i wasn't lagging all game my internet is still up clearly and um yeah we take the l but it's a win in my books i don't care what anyone else says we complete an objective here 
which is play two games. So like it counted. I don't know. I'm so confused. Anyway, so Nate Mack scored two that game. He played absolutely unreal. So Nathan McKinnon is going to be up to an 88 once we get him. Uh, two collectibles for him. And we get him up to an 88. In all honesty, what I think I might do is I might keep Kyle Connor at an 87 and prioritize getting Nate Mack to an 86 and then buying his base card. Uh, so we can get him up to an 88 and then we'll get to Kyle Connor. I think that's the move. You guys let me know about that. But the team is playing absolutely unreal. They feel unreal. I'm, I'm, I'm actually loving this team and I couldn't I couldn't be happier with this episode. All right, guys, that is it for today's Monopoly HUD episode. What an eventful one. Uh, a ton of X Factor upgrades, a bunch of special packs. I got us two amazing purple pulls and James, Neil and Marc-Andre Fleury. Um, and we won both our games. We did win our second game. We, we won that second game. We were going to win it. We were up through one. I don't care what you guys say. And come next episode, we are due for a Kyle Connor upgrade and a Nathan McKinnon upgrade, which is going to be nice. Our top line is going to look absolutely amazing. But guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Now that we're back on the content grind, we are back to uploading three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!